I'm Jess, welcome back to my channel. So this edition I've been shopping and found some absolutely beautiful clothes from the summer collections. From the likes of Netta Porter, Mango, Lily Silk and Mers Demoiselle. But I really wanted to show you the different ways to style these items both from day to night. So first up is a look that sees me very much in my happy place. Super laid back styling, yet using those beautiful, luxurious fabrics. Now this outfit I'm wearing has come from a brand called Lily Silk, and as the name would suggest, they specialize in using the finest mulberry silk for their collections. Now I have to say on first impressions, the minute I opened that lovely gift box that arrived, it was all about the quality. You could totally see and feel it the second I opened that box. So of course I zoned in on the camisoles straight away and I went for this black one with the lovely lace trim. I just thought the detailing was really, really pretty. And then I found these beautiful joggers made from 100% mulberry silk and absolutely fell in love with them. Mulberry silk is like the best one that you can buy. It's 100% natural, it's odorless, hypoallergenic, which for me personally is something I particularly look for. So that's the first thing. Secondly, I love silk joggers. It's one of those looks that in theory shouldn't work, but in my opinion, I think it absolutely does and I love it. So by choosing really laid back pieces like this, but buying them in a really luxurious fabric like silk, you take that super relaxed vibe and it sort of twists the style on its head. It's still super laid back and relaxed, but by having the items made in silk, it elevates the whole look completely, which is my favorite way to style outfits. So over me talking, you've seen the two different ways I would style this outfit. For the daytime, very relaxed, maybe with a couple of straw elements thrown in there. And then for the evening, just a simple pair of heels, maybe a nice clutch bag, or you could add a blazer on top as well if you needed something over your shoulders. The styling is very simple, but I think it's very elegant, and yet it still manages to look on trend. Do have a look at the Lily Silk collection after this video. I would highly recommend the collection. I think the quality has far exceeded my expectation, and I'm really, really happy with the pieces that I've received. So as always, all the links to all the outfits that I'm wearing in this video will be in the description below. Next up, I found this absolutely beautiful dress from Netta Porter by a brand called Mes Demoiselles. Apologies if I've pronounced that wrong because I genuinely adore their entire collection, so I really hope I've got it right for them. So this dress I'm wearing is called the Donatella dress, and it's made from a beautiful voile fabric with these lovely little dot details on it. Essentially, it's just a maxi dress, but you've got this tear detail coming down from the V-neck, and then at the back it scoops down quite low with that lovely tear fabric falling down. So it gives you a lovely silhouette on your back as well, but there's also enough space there to wear a strapless bra, which I thought was really handy. But the really interesting detail is these separate pieces that are sewn into the chest seam, and they just float out as separate entities on their own, giving that bottom portion of the maxi skirt something really interesting and a really original detail. Now you can also use these separate draping sections as a tie belt around your waist, and it just changes the dimension of the dress dress and gives you another way to wear it, which I really, really like. The dress is so stunning. I don't want to detract attention from it in any way, shape or form. So for my perfect day look, this is pretty much all I would do in my styling. So next up, I wanted to show you the versatility of swimwear, particularly through summer. Now swimwear design has come a long way, particularly in the last few years, and we're seeing lots and lots of beautiful swimwear with very intricate designs like this one. So it seems a real shame to only use that swimsuit for one thing, when actually you could use it as a pretty top or a body. So this swimsuit is by a brand called Jets by Jessica Allen, and I actually bought it on the Outnet's website, but I will link in the description below some other styles. I thought it was a really flattering shape as a swimsuit suit but also I could see that I would definitely wear this as a top or a body with other items that I've got in my wardrobe. You've got these mesh frill details over the shoulder here, the lattice detailing that comes down the chest and then round the waist. I will show you this swimsuit in another video actually, I think coming up in 
a week's time or something and I'll show you the bottom half properly but these lovely mesh panels go all the way down the side and the lattice detail comes all the way down so I've styled it with a gorgeous skirt that I got from Ganny on Net-A-Porter's website it's in this beautiful Swiss dot tulle fabric really unusual actually it's got quite a lot of stretch to it so you know when you're on holiday and you're on the beach you're in your swimsuit or your bikini and then you want to pop for some lunch and maybe it's quite a nice restaurant you would never go well I would never go in my swimsuit and go and sit and have lunch you feel the need to put something on this is the perfect balance to that by adding a lovely skirt to that swimsuit you've turned it into a whole other look in actual fact when I showed Charlotte this outfit she thought I was wearing a dress rather than a swimsuit and a skirt and I think that shows the versatility of them you find a beautiful swimsuit with all these lovely details and all you have to do is mix and match it with a couple of different maxi skirts or midi skirts that you may already have in your wardrobe it's a really versatile relaxed look for when you're on your holidays this summer So next up is this beautiful floral print maxi dress by a brand called Awa Souls Malibu. Now I'm quite new to hearing about this collection but once I discovered it I fell in love. They are just my cup of tea. Now I don't normally go for prints but when I saw their collection I absolutely had to try one of their dresses on and fell in love with this one particularly. Now although I do really love this dress I can see that it's going to be a bit of a Marmite dress or a Vegemite dress shall we say for the Australian subscribers. Hello! Because it's it's quite different and I realise that but if you fancy stepping out of your comfort zone and doing something a bit different and for me as well going for a bright floral print this is the sort of dress I would absolutely say to do it with. So it's obviously a cold shoulder dress. You wear it over the shoulders here to get that bardo shape. And I particularly love seeing collarbones on women. I think it's very flattering. So it nips in here with elastic at the waistband and then just staggers down with frills as we go through to the hem. So for my first look, I've styled it very simply, daytime holiday kind of fashion. A pair of sandals, a nice straw hat that I got from Gap and just two little touches of gold with my hoops and my bracelet and that is pretty much it for daytime I think the dress is such a statement piece it's obviously quite an intricate print I think anything else is just going to look too fussy and detract attention away from the dress actually which is not what we want to do so next up I went for this pretty floral embroidery blouse from Mango of a mouthful wasn't it? I have already got lots of these types of tops in my wardrobe however I find them so versatile I wear them in so many different ways I don't mind adding a few more as we go through each season so you have got these little embroidery details dotted all over the blouse which I think is really pretty you got a v-neck here and then buttons all the way down the front the shape is actually quite square, which is really nice because it's not pulling anywhere, doesn't feel tight, and actually is lovely for summer to be nice and floaty and quite wide. I love this frill detail that comes across the shoulder and down the front of the chest here, and then it has this lovely insert underneath with more gathers and frills. It just gives it a really lovely drape, and for that kind of money, I think it actually looks a lot more expensive than it was. So I've styled it with a pair of distressed denim shorts that I got recently from All Saints. Now, I'm not really a denim short kind of girl at all. Certainly none of those Daisy Duke kind of things would look horrendous on me. But with these denim shorts, I've sized up two sizes. The fit is obviously going to be quite slouchy and laid back. And it just enables them to sit lower on your hip, making the length a little bit longer, but also that crotch length is longer too. And I find when you've got that long crotch in denim, it just makes a much more flattering shape around your tummy and around your bum. So yes, a very pretty top from Mango. I know I'm gonna get lots of use out of it over the summer, but also in winter too. So I'm gonna show you in a moment how I would style it a bit more dressed up to get more use out of this one top. Next up, another item from Lily Silk, but this time I went for a slightly boxy shaped blouse. 
obviously hugely versatile. You could style this in so many different ways. But for this look, I've just dressed it down very much in a day wear kind of fashion with a nice pair of straight jeans and a pair of patent flats. The shirt is crepe de chine silk, which has got a slightly matte feel. And I think the contrast with the patent shoes looks really nice together. Now, boxy shapes particularly are really in for this season. So I've left the shirt out so you can really see the shape. But also I think with straight jeans, it makes a really nice look. So as it's quite a relaxed look with both the shirt and the jeans, I'd probably just add a structured handbag to this look, but this is pretty much how I'd wear this shirt in the daytime. Okay, that's it, I'm sold on this dress. I've just put it on with my leather jacket and my black boots as if we're going into autumn winter how would I style it for that season and I think it really works just as well now you wouldn't normally think that this would go together but actually I really love the contrast you've got a very pretty feminine floaty dress with the leather jacket it just toughens it up a bit makes it a bit more modern a bit more on trend and gives you another way to wear it so yeah, I'm going to have to treat myself to this dress. Hopefully you agree that um, it's definitely worth keeping. So this is how I would style this beautiful swimsuit for the evening. I've added the silk joggers that came from Lily Silk and a pair of classic black heels. It's still very relaxed, but it's elevated the whole look. In actual fact, it looks like I'm wearing a jumpsuit just with a really intricate bodice section. You could add a couple of accessories if you really wanted to, but in all honesty, I think it's such an intricate design with the swimsuit paired with those beautiful joggers in silk. I actually don't think you need anything else. Leave it all about those beautiful details and beautiful fabrics and don't overcomplicate it with too many accessories. As I always say, less is often more. So as you can see, just by adding a classic white shirt on top of a maxi dress, you've changed the whole look completely. So it was very much a statement dress, all about that gorgeous print before. Whereas this time I've managed to make use of that absolutely beautiful skirt portion with those lovely frills and that stunning print. But by adding the shirt, it's made it almost look like a skirt. So I'm gonna get loads more use out of this dress. So I've just put on the linen shirt that I got from Everlane. I've done up one button and then just tied it in a knot pretty high on my waist. And then just pulling the fabric back over on top of itself. I folded back the sleeves probably about four times actually, just so they really sit in place because I think you need to see quite a bit of skin here, otherwise it feels too covered. It's a very simple idea, just adding a shirt on top of all those gorgeous maxi dresses you might already have in your wardrobe, you get so much more use out of them. It's quite unusual actually to find a pretty bohemian top, particularly all these floaty numbers that will tuck in really nicely to either a skirt or a pair of jeans. But the nice thing about this top from Mango is the way that it's designed and the way that these frills fall is the seam of the frill actually stops just about where you'd want to tuck the top in. So that leaves you being able to tuck it in here and then have that one gentle frill popping out over the top. And it's the same at the back as well. Actually, I think it looks just as nice tucked into a pair of jeans like this as it did very relaxed and chilled with the denim shorts. So this time I've just styled it a bit smarter, possibly for workwear if you can get away with jeans for work, but you could equally just swap these for a pair of smart trousers if you can't wear jeans to work. But the point is still the same. A pretty top like this goes lovely with lots of blazers and that's probably how I'd wear it. Nice pair of jeans, I've got a pair of kitten heels on there and then my smart structured handbag. So the contrast of those two outfits is quite drastic. You've got very chilled, almost hanging out the beach kind of outfit to a nice smart and sleek look just by adding a blazer, structured bag and a pair of heels. It's still very in keeping with my personal style but I think it's a really nice look both for the daytime, possibly for workwear when you need to look a little bit more elevated and you want to look chic. So this is the second way I'd wear this shirt, pretty much dressed up for evening. So I've tucked the shirt into some high-waisted trousers that I got from Cezanne. And what I really like is the contrast of the brown tone against the black, but also the contrast of fabric. So that silky fabric against the nice cotton. I think they work really nice together. 
So obviously you've got the paper bag shape on the waistband, which really helps to make a more slimline shape. It's very elongating. I actually do really need to take these trousers off. I haven't got around to it yet, but I probably will only take about an inch off the hem. I still like them really, really long. I think that's the nicest way to do it, to keep that elongation. So never go too short when you're taking up the hems. I've also put them with a pair of really high Gucci heels that I've got. I think the black works really nicely, obviously bringing in the black from the shirt here, but also so I think it works really nicely with the high-waisted trousers and just elongates you that bit more. Obviously the shirt's quite plain so it's going to mix and match with lots of the items I've already got in my wardrobe. So it's a very versatile piece but of course the key thing for me about this shirt is the beautiful fabric that looks luxury in that really understated way. So I do hope you like all the outfits I put together in this episode. Hopefully you agree there's lots of different ways to style these pieces both for day and for nighttime on your holidays throughout summer. Do let me know in the comments section which was your favourite piece or your favourite look. As always I'd love to hear from you. And don't forget to check out the Lily Silk collection for all those beautiful pieces in silk. Thank you again for watching, I will see you next time, take care.